Africa. She's African American, yeah. Kenyan. Yeah. Bringing those two cultures together. Yeah. And releasing it to us. To everybody. I've tasted that street taco. Yes. That's an international. And you know, people are asking about it. Man, I, I got. Right now, I have a problem to tell people you, they need to wait until to the sixth. The sixth, yeah, yeah, yeah. People are asking me too because they yeah. saw the video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> here we are yes here we are my friends i can tell you <laughs> how are you i'm great i'm yeah? great mr sam yes how is wife wife is good yeah life is good wife is good uh-huh yeah yeah you know when wife is good <laughs> life is good of course yes yeah when you see a big smile like this mm-hmm Wife is good. Wife is good. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah. welcome again. Thank you. Last time Thank I was in the food truck. Yeah. And you saw the way I was ugly looking a little bit. But right today, uh, you know, a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too, I was ugly. Look at my shirt. Man, I'm, I'm rolling. I'm, I'm rolling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a good oh, one. That, that's a good let, shirt. Let me, let me leave it there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's leave it there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Man, mm -hmm. guys, welcome again to another episode, the movers and shakers of Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina. Guys, you cannot make this up. A Kenyan guy from the village, my goodness, all the way to North Carolina, gets a job, struggles through, and now your own business. Yes, of course, yeah. with wifey. You know where there's a where, where there's no there's no there's no there's no tree with not know the roots. Yes. So a house which has a good roots, a wifey, yeah, a kids, uh, you know, there is that saying. Yeah. Behind any successful man, yeah, is a beautiful and a strong woman. There is, but sometimes I usually I usually flip it around and say, <laughs> behind every fruitful woman, a fruitful woman, there is a, there is a serious mastermind, mastermind yeah. back there. Yeah. yeah. And, hey, my friend, <laughs> you cannot make this up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. There you go. Oh Lord. So it, it is two. It mm. is a two-way. It's a two-way kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. I will not fight with that because I'm a man. Yeah. Although, you know. Because if you see a man struggling out there, yes. looking not good, mm -hmm. go and look very, just be very observant. Yes. You see the same character. Yeah. Yeah. Also, if yeah. you look a beat up woman yeah. and has a man, I think the man is not doing a good job. He's, He's in too. a bad place. Yeah. Yes. Oh, so. Lord. So it's it's a balance, like yes. You remember those weighing uh, weighing scale we used back home? Yes, yes. You put a one a one kilograms here that we use uh, LB pounds. It's kind of like a different, yes. but it's the same kind of thing. Yeah, like let's say for example this uh, juice we have over here. Mm -hmm. You see, mine is a little bit small, and this is a little bit full. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if you put this two in a weighing scale, one will go down. Yeah. Yeah. But if you see the scale is balanced. Well balanced. That means everything is good. If yeah, see, the family is well balanced. Yeah, if you see the family out there, uh, it's uh, whether good, whether bad, whether, yeah. you know, you know, you can go to a family of, uh, mm -hmm. of, of people who corn people. Yes. If a husband is a corn man, the wife is a corn man too. Mm. Mm. Well, yeah. it reminds me now, uh, I'm looking at you and not a while ago your wife said you are almost skeleton when you arrived here. Oh man. Yeah, <laughs> you she, must be she, having a story and a half. Yeah, she was scared. 
Do you see? <laughs> <laughs> like, is this? Do we take this thing in a zoo or what? <laughs> uh, are you sure you, was, yeah. someone almost took you to a zoo, confusing she, you with some animal? No, the moment yeah. she was back uh, when she mm -hmm. she was in Kenya, we uh, when I was with her in Kenya, mm -hmm. um, I was working that time yes, yes. when I met her. Yeah, but when she left, I went back to college, mm. and you know the college life. It's crazy. In Kenya, it's crazy. I see people in jails here in America. They're living a better life. Man, these guys are huge. Yeah, they're, they're eating good. Man, they can even it, sue the government. I know. You're in it, college in Kenya. Who can you sue? Who can you sue? <laughs> you sue there, your books. You remember you read. the policy is that you're there to be seen, not to be heard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's nothing you can do to yeah. do it to protect yourself. You just have to exist. And this, chew those books. Cramming. Yeah. And eating the, you know, they call them boboro. Uh, boboro. Boboro. Ooh, that's maize and beans. Yeah. With, with the blueberry. With, and and, pro flavor it with and the blueberry. protein that in Kikuyu they call it mbosha. Mbosha? Mbosha is mungo in, <laughs> in Taita. <laughs> you know mungo? Yeah, I know. Yes. <laughs> the weevils. The weevils. <laughs> So yeah. you have a protein diet too. No, it's a double protein. Mm -hmm. it's you, forget, a, you forget I cook. It's a double protein. Oh, okay. So you have a, a, a plant protein, which is beans. Beans. And then, and then you, you have oh. animal protein. Yeah, man. You have animal protein. You have right animal there. protein right yeah. there. That's yeah. why you start having... <laughs> no, you just start having the, the, yeah. the cheeks, the lumps. <laughs> but, but funny the enough, skin. the body now... <laughs> <laughs> and the chick sometimes is they're just built because of chewing that because it's too hard. That, that you gain muscles <laughs> so you see guys very muscular here it's yeah. like they go to the gym and lift weight with the teeth <laughs> yeah mm? but it's those uh you know those uh the beans over there they are electric dry so yes. they don't get cooked well oh, they're dried electronically yeah so <laughs> <laughs> they are so shocked yeah they're shocked <laughs> And the food so, is taken trying out. to chew that thing is Man. if you're eating a thousand calories, by the time you're done, you've burned 700, 700 ca calories. Yeah, so you went home with only 300 calories. <laughs> so you crack me up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so <laughs> that is crazy, man. Yeah, so yeah let's go like... back. Let's go back. All right, way back, mm -hmm. man. You guy, yeah, where did you begin? Um. I begin like you want me start from my yes. childhood. Oh, yes. you want me? I have. I have, we can say we can sit here for two years talking about where. Let's it, let's let's go fast tracking. Fast tracking, like a time lapse. Oh, okay, yes. okay. I was born in a family, you know, an extended family. Yes, my my dad was a good guy. Good yeah. Guy. Okay. And uh, so there were two three families. So mm -hmm. I'm family of fourteen. Okay. First wife seven. Second wife seven, and the third wife had one. So my mom, okay, my uh, the second wife is had one, but he passed away. That guy had three wives. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. my dad passed away when I was three years. Okay, I didn't get to see him. Mm -hmm. But fast track, me being here right now, yeah, is because of how hard work he did. What or the hard work he he, he had on himself. Oh, I really? Don't see that picture. And, okay, okay. You okay. know, most of the people sometimes look at their parents and they say, "Oh, you know, this happened, this happened, this." Yeah, you know, actually, my dad it's, was, it's amazing that he had three wives and you're not complaining. No. Wow. No, I came. I, I I complained when I was growing up. Yes. Seeing the other siblings, how good life they had, and I didn't get that. But okay, when I. Got you matured some, up. You and I started maturing and started getting the wisdom. Mm -hmm. I realized, oh, you know what? I want to be more than him. Yes. Because yes. he did good, I want to do better. better. Okay. And my kids will do best. Mm. So did you suffer having so many <laughs> siblings? Yes. That's, that's, the, that's the disadvantage and advantages. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. when he passed away, mm -hmm. things went south mm -hmm. and... Um, I started. That's the time I started a business. Yeah. So, like, I was doing something t yesterday, and I was like, "Oh my God!" I did this when I was five years. Wow. So my mom could cook scones. Okay. 
scones scones are kind of like uh uh they're like <coughs> these hawaiian buns yeah hawaiian buns yeah scones yes. mm -hmm. yeah scones and kamati mm -hmm. kamati mm -hmm. are kind of like the dumplings dumplings are. yeah okay so my mom could cook scones and kamati early mm -hmm. early in the morning okay and i would pick those bitings you can imagine you're so young cutting those things going to sell them you and are so, going to sell them yeah and man the aroma comes out i'm like can i pick one or oh, can i pick two you, and you and can't yeah you can't because they are counted yeah and a certain profit has to be reached a certain money needs to go back home mm. so i'm like oh my god what will i do mm -hmm. so uh I went we I grew up in Voi. Yes. Voi, Voi. Is, in, is in Taita. It's the basically Yeah, Taita. Voi is uh, the, the junction of the junction near near going to Taveta, Ta going to Undani, going to Nairobi. Nairobi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually that's a super East African super highway. Yes, yes, yes. Voi Mombasa Voi Taveta. Taveta. That's a highway ja big junction. Big junction. Mm -hmm. So I grew up in Voi and mm -hmm. there was in 1990s there was a sisal estate in Voi and there was I a, remember there was a sisal yes guys who were carrying sisal yes that's where I was going to sell kaimati and uh, samosas in the morning wow so we'll get get those kaimatis sell them mm -hmm. sometimes these guys you know they 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 get energized they get themselves energized yes yes you know how people get know energized? You, uh, how, how, do, how are they getting energized? <laughs> so they tell you, oh, can I get a, a scones or the oh, okay. uh, stuff you give them? Uh -huh. And then they stay at home. Uh -huh. You know, they say, I'll give you your money later. The moment you go back, this guy open up the door. Their eyes are red like this juice, my friend. And they tell you, what are you? Why are you knocking my door? Oh, Lord. You need to leave, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Mm. You need to leave. So I could go home and tell my mom, and mom mm. will the next day she's the one gonna come and tell me, show me who who, who did this. Who did this? Yeah. So the house have a number like yeah, 21, yeah, yeah. 26. 20, yeah. So I need to cram that number and go tell my mom because number 20. That way your mom can redeem her profit. Number 20 messed up with yeah. me. Yeah. And your mom was no joke, huh? <sighs> if she had to pay to, to get paid, she had to get paid. Up to now, she's a no joke. Mm. Yeah. By the way, big up to your mom, man. Yeah. Up to now, uh. she's called Mama Victoria. Mama Victoria. Yeah. Wow. Queen, Mama uh, Victoria. She just say Queen, Queen, Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria. Yeah. Well, that, let's call her Queen of Taita. <laughs> we don't, we don't care about the Victorian Queen. And she is. She's a mess. She is. If you uh, go yes. to Bura, so mm -hmm. from there. My mom was uh, good, you know, that time, you know, she had to keep up with the other siblings to go okay. to school. Okay. Through the scones and samosas. Mm -hmm. And I was the one, I'm the last boy. Yeah. I was the one selling them. Okay. And while I'm selling, I'm also looking what she's doing. Yes. And so you start gaining some cooking skills. Yes. I there. see. That's where it began. Yeah. So, mm. uh, she got those golden handshakes. She was working with a Kenya Post and Telecommunication. And she got the, yeah. the, the pension. The pension, the golden handshake yes, pension. Yes. Mm -hmm. She decided, uh, should we go to Nairobi or uh, should we go to Mombasa or go to the countryside? Yes, yes. Okay. So I, as a last born, you know, I had to go with her. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I yeah. see. And she went on cooking there. She went on cooking. She opened her own business, okay. a store, a small store. They call them kiosks. Yes, yes. Yeah, small store. Mm -hmm. And she was cooking, still cooking scones and stuff. But she she started going to the shamba now, and, going to farm, yeah, to farm, some exercise. So most of the time when she comes back, we had somebody who was working at the uh, store. When she comes back, uh, there's no food. When I come back from school, there's no food and mm -hmm. she's still at the shamba. So I'm like, what will I do? So one day I decided to go and cook myself. Yes. You know those uh, stove called Kamrasta? Kamrasta, the pressure ones? No. Uh. 
Not the one which you passionate. Yeah. No, yeah. no. The, the ones with the mitambis. Yeah, those are camera. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Na, so, <laughs> I remember <laughs> kuivisha ugali na mitambi. When the fuel yeah. is over, you you, 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 pull the the you pull the mitambis so that your ugali can get ready. Yeah. There you go. Or else you'll eat it like glucose. <laughs> <laughs> unga unga. Yeah. <laughs> ah, man. Hey, yeah. them days. Them days. Mm. So... I was like, let me get this rice and cook mm -hmm. the rice with uh, mm -hmm. this thing. I've seen it. So mm -hmm. uh, I started risking when I was eight years. Mm -hmm. Eight years, I started cooking mm -hmm. with the stove. So I cooked slowly, slowly, mm -hmm. slowly. I saw the water, how it was going, cover it. You know, timing, mm -hmm. watching. Uh, like it was learning from what is going on. The boiling, the water comes off. Mm -hmm. Every time I'm pe peeling, taking off that rice, Mm -hmm. Chewing it, seeing if it's getting ready, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden it, it was good. So you started get, getting more skill and more interest. Yeah, in cooking. Okay. So I cooked that, and I cooked those uh, leftovers, uh, anchovies. Yeah, okay, anchovies, yes. Yeah. Omena. Uh, omena. Yeah. Omena is anchovies. Yeah, omena is anchovies. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. My goodness. Yeah. I, yeah. Mm. So... I, there was a leftover of anchovies mixed mm. with the tomatoes and had my rice. Mm -hmm. When I feed myself, I went to bed. Yeah. Wow. My mom came and she was like, ah, This dude, he's taking this care guy of you. Is, uh, no, he's asleep. Is he yes. sick? Yeah. Oh, what's going on? Right. Hey, are like, you sick? What's going on? No, I just I ate too I was much. like, No, uh, I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm okay. I woke up and she was like, Oh, you, you cooked? cooked? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Wow. So that was my primary uh, part, and then I went you to went high to high school. Yeah, I went to high school, uh -huh. did my high school, finished my high school. Okay, and then uh, which school? St. John's. I went to St. John's. Is that in Taita somewhere? Yeah. Okay. Mugange, Mugange. Banduva Mugange. Watu wa Mugange. That's okay. okay. Bus. Yeah. The All coldest, right. the the highest place in Coast Province. Uh huh. Is that Mgang? Mgangi. Actually, I used to... Vuria is there. Mm, there, is there. You are the, Man. the topest. Okay. That's where I went to Form 1 and I, I, I told my mom, I'm, I don't want to go to school again if I don't have uh, two sweaters. sweaters, two blankets. <laughs> no, actually four blankets because I had already two. That place was cold. That place was cold. been cold, man. Yeah. Some guys were not even having a shower for That's the whole month. That's why they call it Taita Hills. Yeah. It's not a joke. You know, sometimes the, the sun comes out like a small area, just a small area, and you'll see everybody camping around it to get that light. Mm, just to get some warmth. Just uh, the light because just, yeah. it was cold. Oh, man. Yeah. So I did my high school, uh -huh. and uh, after high school, I went to Bondo, Kisumu. I know Bondo. Uh -huh. I went to Bondo. Uh -huh. So my sister was married with a, a gentleman who was working with a children, court stuff like that. Okay. So my brother-in-law actually lived. So I was like, you know, the way when people finish high school, they mm, want to travel. Go, and they, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. So yeah. I went to Bondo and I said Bondo one year. But when I was in Bondo, my sister had this catering company called Bokaka Walk. Okay. Bukaka walk. Bukaka walk. And so in Bukaka walk, uh -huh. we could have like, you know, most of the upside country people mm -hmm. get to bury, to have funerals on the weekends. Yes, yes. So most of the weekends we were going out. Mm -hmm. So I was a young guy, 18 years. To cater for people. Kera people, I'm cooking mm. pilau, I'm cooking me and my sister, you know, yes. uh, slaughtering goats, slaughtering what? cows. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So that was my job. So this two Taita, brother and sister, all the way to Bondo. Yeah. Uh, having a catering company in Bondo. My a catering goodness. company in <laughs> that's, Bondo. That's unheard of. Okay. Bukaka walk. Bukaka walk. Wow. I did that for mm. one and a half years. Mm. And I was like, uh, I think I need to go back to Mombasa. To Mombasa. Yeah. So in Mombasa, what happened? So in Mombasa, I got to Mombasa and uh, still life is not a same line. It went upside down and uh, I'm just sitting in the house, you know, in the uh, family house and I'm, I'm doing nothing. And 
there is a job of painting mm. in the house. And my answer is, I want to employ somebody to paint the house. Ah. I'm like, no. I'll do it. I'll paint that house. You're a hard-working guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, your aunt wants a painter. Yeah. And you're a like, rental. oh, no. Yeah. Don't hire a painter. I can do the painting. I can do the painting. Okay. So, I went forward and painted the whole house. Mm -hmm. So, the skills of building the food truck didn't come from yes, yesterday. Yes, 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 yes. Because now he he has built his own food truck. Yeah, with your own hands. With my own hands. So that's where you started getting the skills. Yeah, it's amazing that in the walk of life, you go through some hardships, some experiences here and there, and those hardships and experiences they build you up. Are the ones that you use later on to catapult you. Yeah, to another level. To another level. There you go. Amazing. And actually. Starting building stuff, we build like dog houses, but okay, you know, yeah, chi chicken houses, chicken houses. Um, so me working for my aunt and me working for that company mm -hmm. gave me the fare to go and look for work now mm. in downtown Mombasa. You went to downtown Mombasa to look for work, knocking doors by doors, looking mm. for a job. Mm. And I got my first job, full-time job. Uh -huh. I can say it's a full-time job. Yes, yes. Which I worked for five years. No money, no bazaar. What were you doing there? Selling clothes. It's kind of like Walmart oh, or Target. Okay, okay. So you're selling, selling merchandise. Yes. Yeah. It was not bad? Yeah. It was okay? It was, it was okay. It was, you know, daily bread. How uh, long did you work there? Mm -hmm. Five years. Five years Five of years. your life. Yeah. But a lot of experience. A lot of experience. I even like when you can ask some people, uh, they usually gave, the, the, the Indian guy came with this uh, Halloween costume. It's kind of mm -hmm. like, I would say a Halloween costume. Yes, yes. But it was a gorilla. Yeah, it was a gorilla. It is rubber. So mm -hmm. you can imagine the heat of Mombasa. Oh, you had to put it on. I had to put it on, go out and, and play with advertise. the kids. advertise. Or yeah. playing with the kids. Play with the kids. Yeah. Advertisement. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. that oh was Lord. Like, and staying there for in that sunshine, in that Mombasa heat. I was staying like ten minutes. I'm running back in, take it off and stay in the air conditioner. Ooh. Drink some water. Drink that thing was hard. Oh, Lord. Every day? Every day. Oh my god. And then I told them no, I can't do this anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they put me outside selling shoes, yelling. Mm -hmm. So yelling started when you remember now uh, things are to me, call me, call me, call me, call me. Yeah. Viatu na call me, call me, call me, call me, call me. Mama ndio hizo viatu. No maneno. Mm. Beba, 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 beba. That's what I Oh, mama, hii ni kumi. Ukiguza umenunua. Ukiguza umenunua. I did that. Uh -huh. So after five years, mm. they laid me off. Mm. Actually, they fired me because oh. I was like, oh, no. It's but before much. they fired me, my mm. cousin came and saw, you know, mm. what I was doing. And he's mm. like, oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. My cousin lived in Nairobi. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. This is what he do. I think I want to work with you. I think I want to work I with you. I want to work with you. So when they fired me, I went forward and started selling those cards for Safaricom. Yeah. Sell credit cards. Credit cards. Mm -hmm. But now I'm getting them, taking them. So this, I was an... Uh, uh, associate with one store, I pick the cards, I sell, I get my commission. Mm -hmm. So that's another job I started. Right there in Mikindani area? Now that time I moved, I moved to my own place in Likoni. You lived in Watu Likoni moved. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. I lived in Likoni. Uh -huh. I crossed that bridge, I had my bicycle, uh -huh. crossed the, the ferry, yes. come back in the morning. Oh Lord. Yeah. yeah, I remember Likoni. So I lived that in Likoni. ferry. Yeah. Oh my So God. when I got the job after Two months, my mom was like, hey, you, you need to look for your own home now. You need to you look need for your own to, house. Yeah, yeah. You've and lived here for too long. Uh, yeah, you got to go. Not taking care of a grown man. Huh? Yeah. Okay. So I went to live to Likoni. Stayed in Likoni. Sell the cards there. Moved to Mshomoroni. Okay. Because the big market now was in Mshomoroni. Yes, yes. Of selling the cards. I had mm. more people in Mshomoroni. More mm. stores in Mshomoroni knew me. Mm. So I moved to Mshomoroni. Mm. I s did a card thing for two years. Two years? Yeah. Man, you've hustled in that yeah. country, man. Yeah, I oh, did a card Lord. thing two years. Oh, my goodness. 
I yeah. literally finished high school and came to the US, so I don't know anything like the Kenyan hustle. Oh man. Mm. Yeah, I did a cut two years. Mm. So after I did a cut two years, my mm -hmm. cousin, remember my cousin? Yes. She told me, hey Andrew, come over to Nairobi and just see if you can do this job. Okay. So she had a company, uh, she's my wonderful sister of she's my cousin and a sister. Yes. And yes. a person who she's my mentor. She's What's her name? Uh she's late Rao. She's called oh. uh, she's my late Cousin, cousin Maria. 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 Tan. Shout out to Maria. Yeah. Rest well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she was my mentor, even mm -hmm. though. So she called me to go to Nairobi. I'll tell you a story. Yes. That's why I, I say she's my mentor. And yes. She was yes. A very, very uh, person, a hardworking lady. Okay. Yeah. So she had a uh, Matali International and uh, uh, Matali International printing company mm -hmm. and Matale in. Like, you know, wow. uh, liquor selling, and, yes. you know. Uh, she was an entrepreneur. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the first the day she told me to go to Nairobi, went to Nairobi, we did some uh, printing, you know, in River Road, did our yeah, paperwork, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. delivered Kenya Airways, came back. We are working at a nation house. There is a Sir Henry store in nation house. Yeah, yeah. I can never forget that. Okay. So I'm walking there and I did a stop. And I started looking at the shirts, the shoes. And you know, she's still walking. And the you car, stopped. The car was parked yes. way further. And I stopped. I'm looking at these shirts. And you started dreaming. I started visioning. Man, that shirt looks good. Good. God, Sir like, Henry. You know Sir Henry? I didn't know what Sir Henry is. Yes, that time. yes, yes. Then I read Sir Henry. Sir Henry. I looked at the shoes. I looked at I'm like, wow, this is amazing. So all of a sudden I saw my cousin came back and she was like, uh, why are you, why are you, why are you looking at this? Why are you so amused? Why are yeah. you looking at this? I was like, man, this clothes looks beautiful. They are yeah, nice. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what she told me? I think you're ready to come to work in Nairobi. Mm. Because if you come and work with me, mm -hmm. Whatever you are seeing, if you do hard work with me, you will, whatever you are seeing there, you will get it. You'll get it. But you need to work hard. Yes. So she put it a bag on me, working hard. Work hard. And her companies, we were working hard. Yeah. We no were joke. printing those stuff, like printing yes. and uh, collecting the papers, because you know you print like K cube catalogs, mm -hmm. big catalog, like a new. Um, Boy 7, they are mm -hmm. bringing a Boy 7. We were the ones doing those catalogs. And it's a big booklet. Like 500 pages. Wow. So you print them all and you need to collect all those pages. Mm -hmm. One, two, you know. We could wow. work, but yeah. So how long did you work there? I worked there for four years. What? Yeah, I worked with her for four years. Dude. Already, you are telling me you are a fossil, man. Yeah. You are a <laughs> dinosaur. No, it's no. It's been a while, man. No, oh, no. Okay. It, it's it, just like moves yeah, it's so moves. fast to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Four mm. years. Mm -hmm. So I did that for four years, mm -hmm. and then she decided to branch to go to... Um, before that, that's, you know, she decided to... No, three years, we started... We had an area in Kitengela, so we had a rabbits and board games. Yes. Cooking came back in. Okay. So the business branch again with cooking. So cooking. yeah, the rabbits and board games, people every first weekend of the month, people will go out of town. So we started this by Facebook. That time Facebook was coming in. So the friends were going, we go out of town, mm -hmm. we go with every drinks and mm -hmm. you know, Nairobi and people, yes. some of them want to have this, uh, uh, Pilau, Pilau. the experience from course, the yes. real experience from yes, course. Yes, yes, yes. So that's what we were doing. So we pinched tent. It was actually next to the Nairobi National Park. Mm -hmm. So we pinch our tents over there. Mm -hmm. We cook for the for our coming guests. We know mm -hmm. how many they are coming. They've already paid. They've already booked. Yes. It was kind of like a... So it was mini, some catering of some kind. Mini lodging catering. Yeah, yes, gotcha. People come. Mm -hmm. We feed them. They, we have a DJ. 
play music, they dance, they drink, they come with their own drinks or they can buy our drinks. And you, and you loved the job. I loved it. It was fun. So that's how you really started getting the passion. The passion now, it was brought by my wife. Ah, let's hold that thought. We'll get there. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, from there, you start cooking for these guys. And then what next? So, we started having more clients. Yeah. International clients. Uh -huh. Everybody, you know, coming from, you know, we started, instead of one weekend, mm -hmm. now we were going like two weekends, three weekends, in the middle of the week. So I have, she's doing something else. I have to drive over there mm -hmm. and cook for those people and, you know, do those, you know. Yes. Uh, so there's a time now one, uh, inter you know, one of, uh, of our clients mm -hmm. came and he was like, oh, I have somebody in my office who is about to go back to her country, mm -hmm. Joanne. Okay. Joanne, she's from Canada. Okay. And she wants somewhere where it's private, you know, to have a going away party. And, mm -hmm. you know, and she's, she's an NGO. So it was an NGO party. Ah. This groups, uh, which were working for an organization, mm -hmm. they came in people from Canada, US, USA. everybody mm -hmm. came in to the party. Yes. So when they came to the party, we cooked for them. And, you know, they love the food, the Costarian food, because they have been eating all this yeah, kind of all food these Nairobi. Foods. Yeah, but in but, Mombasa, they find the real deal. Yeah. I see. So they got this food and they're like, oh, my God. We this love it. This food is good, mm -hmm. you know. And that's where there was this young lady over there looking around. You know, at night, I was trying to protect everything is running well. I'm uh -huh. the security. I'm the manager. I'm everything. You're everything, yes. And I'm looking at the security inside. Nobody, you know, still there's a security guy. Yes, there's a yes. policeman yeah, on the compound. Yeah, yes, yes. So I'm there with my blanket, you know, at the bonfire. Um, I usually, when I was going to those parties, I couldn't, I would stay the whole night. Yes, yes. So in the morning, I need to drop the police guys to uh -huh. the police station. Mm -hmm. So I went, dropped them, came back, and I'm yeah. asking my cousin, where is my blanket? Mm -hmm. And she's like, there is a lady who took your blanket. Mm. I'm like, wow, okay. okay. So all of a sudden, because I wanted to have a little bit nap and yes. woke up and start doing the breakfast. Yes, yes. It was five thirty. Yeah. So at seven, I see my blanket coming with this beautiful lady. So yeah, <laughs> you went to do some catering. Yeah. But you are also the security yeah. of some kind. Yeah. Interior security. Interior se <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, you went out. To and take then the police. To take the police guy home. Yeah. Your, your external pol security. Yeah, my external security. Yes. Yeah. You drop him home. Yeah. Come back to the hotel room that you are... No, not hotel. It's uh, a bush. The, it's a bush, whatever. Yeah. 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 Let's call it a bush, yeah. yeah. Uh, to, to now be the security. Yeah. You were, you were, a few minutes ago, hours ago, you were the caterer. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, you find I, your blanket is missing. Yeah. Then what? <laughs> <laughs> then the, bl the blanket comes back. Uh -huh. Brought by this young, young lady. Mm -hmm. And uh, I looked at her. All night she was disturbing me. Okay. Ask, asking me questions because I'm talking to the crowd. I, li I love talking. I, I yeah. can't lie. You know, I, yeah, I, I yeah. talk. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I like entertaining people, yes, you yes. know, mm -hmm. so with food, with good words, with everything. Mm -hmm. So at, the ni at night, she was asking me this question, but she was asking me with another tone. And I'm like, just be natural. Yeah. I love natural. You know, mm -hmm. I love natural food. Mm -hmm. Everything to be, you know, don't fake. Don't fake you're like, it. hey, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh. what, what are you talking about? I'm like, what in oh, the so world? You think, maybe you think she's Kenyan. I knew she was Kenyan faking. Oh, okay. But she was not. She was not Kenyan. Yeah. <laughs> so she took my blanket. I don't know. She, it was a charm mm -hmm. to talk to me again. Mm -hmm. So she brought the blanket back and I was like, uh, 
How are you? What how morning? Oh, yeah, you know, you know Kenyans sometimes they just go to the airport Jomo Kenyatta. By the time they are back they are speaking American. There you go. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we love to change in a moment mm. but I don't change. Yes. I, I feel like even though people say my English right now has changed, changed. but I feel it's still the same. Uh, you, you don't see it changing. It changes from other people's points of view. Yeah. 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 So, what next? So we, I talked to her a little bit here and there, and uh, um, we, I asked for a number. There was no number given. So was she? Did she tell you she's Kenyan or she's American? She didn't tell me anything. She, she didn't just tell told me. You. I don't have any number. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I was okay, like, okay, okay. But before the bus left, before they left, uh -huh. she came with an email address. Here is my email. Here is my email address. Ah. I said okay. Okay, I'll I'll take that. Yeah. Yeah. So we left each other and after two weeks I decided to venture on my own now, a little bit on my own. Mm -hmm. So I opened Choma. A Choma place. A Choma, Choma place in in a, it's a barbecue place for Americans, uh, where yeah. roast meat. Roast meat. Yeah, you yeah. know. But uh, but that was uh, w that that area was uh, in uh, we lived in Loresho. Me and my cousin lived in Loresho. Okay. So there was a Freetown bar. Mm -hmm. Culture. Mm -hmm. So I was in culture. Mm. Culture bar. Culture bar. Barbecuing over there. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you know, I met the my wife again. That time she was still a lady. I met her again to Habashi. So this girl that gave you an email is yeah. your wife now? Yes, yes. Ah. Yes. But now, mm. I emailed her a couple of times. She didn't reply. What? Did she go back to the U.S. or she was still around? She there? was still around. Okay. So I went to Harlingham Park Habesha restaurant. Uh -huh. Me and my, my two cousins, we, yeah. we loved spicy food. Yes, yes. So you know the Angera, the big Angera? The Angera, man. It's yeah. good. The Ethiopian mm. Angera. Oof. Yeah. So we then went. if you go to Atlanta, there is an Ethiopian place. Yeah. Awesome. I'll take you there once we find ourselves there. Even here in Durham. We oh, do. there we do. Yeah. I need to get go. We there. have two Ethiopian places in what? North Carolina. Yes. Uh, we will that will come later. There's mm -hmm. one in NC State and one in Durham. Man, I didn't know that. Yeah. Ah, yeah. we have to visit. Yeah. yeah. So, mm -hmm. met her in Hallingham Park. Okay. And uh I, I saw her and I was like, I, I don't have any, there's no any connection, there's nothing happened, so yes, I yes, don't yes. want to, you know. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden I hear, hey, hey, Andrew. And I turn and she's like, she's the one. Yeah. What? So she called me and say, hey, this is my number. Ah, uh, finally you get the number. Finally I got the number. 2541 or 9191? 254. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so we got the number. Uh, dated for. You start dating. We started dating. Something happened with her and an organization. Uh huh. Now roots. The roots are so good sometimes. Yeah. So my grandfather was a translator of the British people. Okay. Translating English, Taita English, yes, to no Swahili and English to Swahili, Swahili and, and Taita, Taita to, to, to English. English, yes, yeah, in court. Wow. So okay. he was a tax collector yeah. and translator for the British, yes, in yes. court. Uh -huh. Now I'm getting my grandfather's job. I became a translator for her because her, she was about to lose her contract to be taken back. Mm. To the US because okay. the translator messed up with funds. Yes, yes, yes. So now I went in like a translator, but yes. we are friends and I don't want to show to anybody, like, yeah. you know, something. Yes, yes, but yes. because now she has somebody who she can trust, mm -hmm. she told me, hey, mm -hmm. come on board. There we go. So I started traveling all over the world. Mm -hmm. All over Kenya, sorry. No, no, yes. no. But <laughs> oh, I'm like, okay, that was quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I went to Nanyuki, mm -hmm. we went to uh, Naivasha, okay. Kindu Bay, uh, Malindi. Okay. So I was a translator. Mm -hmm. 
That time getting that money from mm-hmm. translating, mm-hmm. putting in my barbecue. Yeah, you business. Know, business. Pumping it in your business. Yeah. So uh-huh. I did that and then um, she left. Uh, she went to Ethiopia and she was stranded in Ethiopia. And I was like, this is the right time to engage. Yeah. <laughs> so she Rescue me, team. Yeah, she called me. Oh my God, um, I don't know what happened. I'm stuck here. So she came back. I was I was walking around with this uh, with my engagement ring. Yeah, I'm like wondering uh, when will I get that time? But yeah. I got that time. She came back and I was like, you know what? Mm. Don't be worried. And don't so, think you're stranded in life. Okay, now, now yeah. this is now coming to another level. This American lady, yeah, is meandering around East Africa. Yeah. She's in the Ethiopia, where myself, I wouldn't go without some company. <laughs> yeah. Some security. She's true. This American girl. Yeah, she's true. Now, uh, yeah, now, uh, now it's now stopping to be your story. This American girl <laughs> and African-American girl. Because yeah. I've seen some white girls crazy. They go climb Mount Kenya there they, and go to the ghettos and they're crazy. I've seen some American girls who are, who are white yeah. doing crazy stuff. But this one is an African-American girl. Yeah. Rotating, meandering all over East Africa. All by herself. What in the world Yeah. was she doing there? Yeah. Okay. I, so, she, you know, when you give your heart to the people, yes. and I feel that's how my wife... What's her name? Vanessa. Vanessa Renee Lucas. A beautiful name. I, I can yeah. see your smile when you oh, say that yeah. name. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. like you saw, you saw some kachumbari with pilau and you're hungry. With, 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 with pilipili kidogo. Pili, pili, pili. Yeah, hello, Ka- pili. Kikuyu people say kafirifiri kwa bari kidogo. Yeah. When it hits you, your, yeah. your, your, your test butt, yes, everything yes. opens up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I say, you say that name as if you just spotted that yeah. plate. Uh-huh. So she went to Ethiopia, standing in Ethiopia, mm-hmm. and uh, that's the time I got the time to propose. I was like, "Don't worry, I'll be there for you. Mm. Whenever you are in a problem or anything, I'll be there." For you. <laughs> <laughs> I did it, <laughs> and she said, "Yes, <laughs> you're lucky, man, man. <laughs> you're lucky, man. Do you know how many men in Kenya would love to be in your position, man? Uh, <laughs> I, I, everybody is, you know, it's, yeah. it's life. Yeah, yeah." So, you know, you are actually uh, many Kenyans will just dive onto any woman, but you do you you came across a beautiful, very smart lady. And venture slowly. You know how us Africans are. Yeah. You see any mzungu, some some Africans. Yeah. You see any mzungu, even if they are ninety year old, they'll dive on them quickly. <laughs> but you, you went and got what you wanted. I, the I, real I, thing, the real I, deal. It's I, not like you tried to. It's not like you are just uh, dived onto anyone. Just you know. But, but Mr. Sam, this was this, a true relationship. This, this is a mm. this is a venture whereby is mm. when you dive things when you dive in things like that. Yeah. You will end up getting a miserable life. Yes. But yes. This was from God. So this God, is real love from in here. God time. Yeah. I usually say God time mm-hmm. is the best because mm-hmm. whatever I undergone and whatever I saw how my mm-hmm. mom and how my dad was. Yes. You know our culture, right? Yeah. When you are 18, you were supposed to get married. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But I said no. Mm-hmm. Mom, I'm praying I want to get married with somebody not from this country. Oh, so you also, you kind of foresaw it. Yeah, I was like, I won't get married with a woman from a different place. Even if he's from Kenya, but mm. let it hard to be in a different, yes. not same tribe. Not because this tribe. If I, I, was, I was married in 18, by the age of 25, I'm getting married to another lady. I know. because you know, So I'm doing mm. the step which... My father did, yeah. and they were not 
Yeah. They were might not wise, but that was yes, the culture. That was the culture. So then. I'm going on my own culture mm -hmm. and building up my own yes, yes, yes. empire. Yes, you don't want to fall into the old. Yeah. yeah. So I prayed and God time is the best. So she, God gave, brought this to me. Yeah, and I because I lived and, in, and you even met her. She gave you an email, never got in touch, and then you meet again. Again, and then she gets in some tr in Ethiopia. <laughs> she doesn't have a translator. We need a story. You need to bring her here, and we do. I need me and her. No worries. Yeah. No worries. You'll have that. Her story is more interesting than yours, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. It, it will bring be. me subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. So, <laughs> it, 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 it's a God intervention. Mm. Like, God gives you what you ask, you, yes. it will be given. When you knock, it shall be answered. be answered. Yeah. You can say, oh, I need this, and then you mm -hmm. just... Cause like you say, people dive to people. I've seen them. Yes, yes. I lived in Mombasa. Oh, ah, yeah. I have seen. And see anyone seeing any American, even if they are 90 year old, they'll dive onto them to get, take I, advantage of that. I work in Nomaneno. Yes. Nomaneno is in the middle of mm. Mombasa town, yeah. opposite yes. GPO, Baroda mm -hmm, Post. Mm -hmm. How many have I, how many women were there? A lot. How many, all those tourists? You could have dived on any at any time. But that was not the time. Mm -hmm. The time was... It's I, amazing. I was supposed to go to Nairobi yeah. so that I can meet this lady. Yes. No man was supposed to fire me mm. so that I can get a chance to mm -hmm. go to Nairobi. Yes, yes, yes. This was well, it's like it was orchestrated step by step. step by, and that's why up to mm. now, mm. everything I feel is coming like, you know. So we it's dated open, for... Yeah. We dated for a uh, distance relationship. She sent me, I decided to go back to school, to yes. college. Yes. I was 20, 21. I went back to CAT, culinary arts, because uh, she's the one told me, your food is so beautiful. Good. good. You really know how to cook. You need oh, to cook. Oh, really? Yeah. And that how was like. How woman propelled like, you to discovering your purpose? Yeah. Mm. I once wanted to be a musician, but you know, uh -huh. it didn't work. It My didn't mom work. said, "No, you will die so fast. <laughs> you gotta go to school. <laughs> you, will, you will be killed by those women in Kenya." Yeah. <laughs> you know how musician? Uh, I was a musician yeah. and uh, man, a gospel one. Yeah. And still, the women come. <laughs> Even a gospel one, you will be killed by women. Yeah. So. My mom said, no, you have to go to school. Mm -hmm. It was all about uh, mm -hmm. the families brought up with mm -hmm. more educated, you know, people. We are my side of my dad's mm -hmm. family and my mom's family, mm -hmm. they are well, ed they, they believe in education and mm -hmm. they go. It's not only education, but knowledge. Yes, yes. Yeah, getting knowledge mm -hmm. was, it's more in us. That's what I feel. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you can get education, you can have all the papers, but what are you using those papers for yes yes so in my age of 21 i went back to college Kalna wow. at cit how many years two years did my certificate for two years and you graduate i was graduating and coming to the u.s wow so you graduated then you came i graduated the same month boom i finished actually i didn't even i've never even gone to the graduation ceremony they, I finished my last exam on November 20th, the NAT exam. So, Kenya, you so, know, the day you met your wife might have been the day when you washed your face. All the water that washed your face went away with all your problems. No, and no, I'm no. I'm just joking. But no, no. That's no. what people sometimes uh, assume. No. Yeah. yeah, that's what they assume. Yeah, yeah. But the really thing is yeah. problems. Now, you can imagine getting... Uh, yeah, I'm... It's I've, a challenge. I've, I've gone it's a challenge a, having a, a lady yeah. outside yeah. the country, long yeah. distance relationship. Yeah. You're in school. Yeah, I'm, you I'm have to school. graduate. Yeah, I oh. have to graduate. But she yeah. was coming, you know, we did it for three years. Yeah. So the two years in college, she came like twice. Mm -hmm. And when, you know, but my final exam, I did my final exam. And you can imagine, you're saying about washing all the problems. Mm -hmm. Now the problem is, yeah, I've, I've taken a flight from Nairobi to Mombasa, yeah, you know. Yeah. But now getting to a flight, leave alone getting to a flight. 
making a decision mm -hmm. of saying yes i want to go somewhere mm -hmm. there is no family there's nobody you know it's just you with your bags mm -hmm. and clothes mm -hmm. and that time my wife uh, designed these soap stones which were written for you know a wedding uh, gifts people will come for the wedding mm -hmm. it was written Vanessa and Andrew so there was a soap stone of elephant mm -hmm. a lion a giraffe mm -hmm. so I have that one full bag 200 pieces it's heavy even the <laughs> I got into the plane to Amsterdam eight hours I'm like where am what am I doing get to Amsterdam I'm just all those trains are moving <laughs> Like, that place oh is big by the way i'm like oh my god what is this now one thing with me if i don't know and that's one thing with cooking and anything you do in life mm. if you don't know ask just ask yeah if they think you're you 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 you're a fool or you are lazy or somebody let them think but ask because mm -hmm. i don't know i'm stranded all these things are moving like so I ask, where is uh, this and this? And okay, take take this plane. When when it stops, take another one, and then go opposite. Take yeah. the fast flow. You'll see. Get and wait. Get to Rally Durham. They asked me why was those soaps thrown in. I told them they are gifts for my wedding. Mm. Like wow, okay. So I got here. Came with a fiance, ninety day fiance visa. Mm hmm yeah so thanksgiving we visited my late father-in-law mm -hmm. uh sir benjamin a very wise man mm -hmm. and you know those are the challenges now coming in you know yeah. this guy you know is he are you really making a right decision yeah, you know yeah. you know parenting and stuff like that yeah and that time i was skinny my friend mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> A wind could have blown you. Yeah, I was walking. I was walking. You had to put on stones. Yeah, I was walking with batteries on my phone. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you know there's a lot of tornadoes over yes, here. Yes, yes, yes. You can be carried away. <laughs> Those winds. <laughs> yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, they are looking at this skinny, skinny guy. What? What? You know, like a parent, like a father. Like, where did you get this guy, man? <laughs> I, you know, that's what I'm thinking, and mm. then I'm looking at this huge guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my late father-in-law is a huge guy, and mm. I'm like sitting there, like, oh my god, <laughs> skinny yourself. <laughs> yeah. mm. <laughs> so mm. I got married, uh, went to work tech, start hospitality. All right. Yeah. So that was my first thing when I get here. I started. Work tech first, start hospitality. Okay. Then I uh, worked with a daycare. Okay. Uh, so I was cooking for the kids in daycare, King's what? daycare in downtown Raleigh. Man, yeah. you have a big yeah. history. Yeah. Cook uh, for the daycare in downtown okay. Raleigh uh, for a year. Okay. That time I was doing the start hospitality with work tech. Mm -hmm. So uh, they had a career career venture like you know all these uh hiring manager human resource managers are coming to hire people mm -hmm. so when you come in like you know work tech has those programs when you yes, come yes. in you can apply so I'll, my wife looked and we mm -hmm. applied for it mm -hmm. and i went in mm -hmm. so i did the work tech start hospitality and uh uh the company which i'm working with it right now angus band the yes. human resource was there yes and yes. i put in my application wait mm -hmm. Uh, for two months, mm -hmm. went again, applied. There was no call. Went again and applied. I I saw that place and I was like, this is the place I want to work. Oh, you want to work, yeah. Yeah. And finally, they called me. Mm. Uh, they gave me a job while I was still do doing the daycare stuff. Yeah, Angus Ban. Yeah, Angus Ban. Now I joined Angus Ban. That's the biggest yeah. restaurant in town, yeah. man. So that was my good. That's big. That is my good full time job. I love it. That's big. Man. Yeah. So yeah. seven years working with Angus Ban. Ah. But while working in Angus Ban, uh -huh. my hands, you know, they are they are burning. Yeah. My legs are burning. Yeah. 
So I started a, my first own company, Lamo Company. Yeah. I started cutting grass. Lawn mowing, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Started cutting grass here and there. <laughs> <laughs> you are a businessman. You always wanted to do business. Yeah. Yeah. So I cutted grass and it get frustrated a little bit because most of the people were my wife's friends. Mm -hmm. And you go to cut. You cut grass, but they are telling you, why did you not trim the yeah, the other thing. The tree. So it Why becomes it... a business whereby you're not making too much, but you're working too hard. Too hard. That's a problem and when you the, work for family or friends. Yeah, the commands were mm. so... Yeah, outright. And I didn't want to break that relationship. relationship. Yeah. So I pulled the tools back to the garage and say, I'm not doing lumber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sat down. I got a job with a Rocky Mountain. Uh -huh. Chocolate factory. So okay. now I'm working Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory uh -huh. with Angus Bud. Yes. I worked there for one year. I said, no. I will cook chocolate by myself. I opened a big chocolate factory. <laughs> big five chocolate factory. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Wow, well, big five. Yeah, the big five chocolate factory company. Now my second one. My second job. Mm -hmm. I started cooking like, you know, uh, strawberries, all this yes, stuff yes, for yes. Valentine's. Yeah. It didn't work well. Uh, I was like, okay, what will come next? So it's like, failure after failure after failure. But anyway, failure is progress at yeah. the same time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I thought about something. So we, we had another, we moved to another house. And I was installing the blinds. <laughs> and I look at the marketing of the blinds. And Don't stuff. tell me you started selling blinds. Makuti blinds and shades. <laughs> <laughs> Another business. Makuti blinds and shades, yeah. LLC. Yes. So I started installing blinds and okay. shades to people's houses. And what happened? It was too expensive. Uh, you said no. I said no. Yeah. The demand I was looking to get. But you know, the, all these things were shaping you. Slowly yeah. by slowly. Yeah. Because yeah. my hands can work and I'm yeah. moving around, you know. Mm -hmm. So I lay back and I said, okay, what will come next? So uh, I started a catering company here and there. You know, mm -hmm. friends, I just cook for them. Mm -hmm. And my wife was like, you can cook. So you need mm -hmm. to go back and do this. So, yes, and yes. I think cooking is you. Mm -hmm. Don't be jumping out. Like, Don't really? be jumping around. So what do, you, wait, what do you think we your open? Wife, your wife is a miracle, man. Yeah, a, a miracle maker. Yes. Yeah. Because from Kenya, maker. she tells you you know how to cook. <laughs> it, it makes you go to school. Yeah. Man. A miracle maker. So she tells me, mm. uh, you know what? There's this name. Let's let's look. So we started venturing a name for LC, the company. Yeah. yeah. We started looking. We dig around. We dig around. And mm. oh, Safari. Mm. It's Safari, Safari, Safari. Mm. Safari eats. Mm -hmm. So we put a Z there and mm. she was like, oh yeah, we put a Z here. This is going to be good. You know, mm. I'm like, oh yeah, this is good. Mm. Safari eats was born in twenty twenty nineteen or 2020. Yeah. 2019. Yeah. Yeah. You see the logo. Oh, yeah. It's written Safari eats 20. I was trying to see if you, you still see. Yeah, 2019. Yeah. 2019. Yeah, that's yeah. when it started. Since 2019. 2019. I saw, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. yeah. So we started 2019 there. Mm -hmm. And stayed 2019. Mm -hmm. Things were so, you know, it's still one, two, three yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm still working my full time job. And uh, 2020, COVID hit. COVID. It came around. Yeah. COVID hit. And I was at home seated and uh, uh, I looked at this book which my wife gave it to me while I was in college in yeah. 2021. Mm. The food truck book. Mm. I saw the book and I was like, wow, I think we can do the food truck. Yes. We got an event to go to Living Town, yeah. North Carolina. Living Town. Living Town. Yes, yes. And I saw this food truck, a hot dog trailer being sold. Yeah. I jump and go buy it because now I'm hungry. Yes. Yeah. You know, I'm hunting You're now. Like, I'm now I have to get this business. I have to get this business yeah, going. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And I buy that trailer. I didn't know it's supposed to have a title or anything. Yeah. 
and it didn't have a title. It didn't have a so title. So you basically lost your money. I lost. Yes. It's still out there. Uh-huh. Lost went away. It's I'm a process. Still hungry. It's a sp- process. Process. Mm-hmm. Still hungry. Jumped again. Go and get another one. Yeah. Now this one is good. And now Maybe. we are here. Now we are here. It's food truck. Food truck. From Angus Ban. Man, you, it's a long journey. Yeah. From the village in Taita. Chasing those dick dick. Yeah. yeah dick dick. Dick dicks. Yeah. Hunting. The small gazelles. What do we call them? Deer. Small deer. Yeah. It's not even deer. Smaller uh, than that. They're called. Uh, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Now. Tell us the launch date. Because now. This thing is. Last time we did a video, we didn't tell anyone about the launch date. Is it today that you're releasing the launch date? Or of course. In the next video? Oh, of course. Oh, it's today, right now, today right here. Today is the day. Today is the day. I want everybody. I am I'm telling you, it's going to be a traffic. We'll close all the roads in North Carolina. On in Highway 70, Highway Miami, 70. everywhere, because that's the junction. Yeah, Highway 70 and Miami. Highway 70 and Miami. And that's actually close to Raleigh and close Durham to Durham. and everywhere. Yeah, and Morrisville. Morrisville. Yeah. No one, no one. Guys, make sure you visit this food truck. 70 and Miami. And Miami. But you'll also, on some dates, you'll be going to other spots yeah but yeah. the launch will be on 70 the lounge will be on 70 miami mm. uh the car wash there's a car wash right there yes 2170 miami there's a car wash right there mm-hmm. and you want me say the date or oh. one two and go give us a date the date is next month the sixth of next month this is the a saturday sixth, the sixth of march of march 2021. 2021. You have launched your food truck. It will be on the spot selling the delicious. I will be there, you know. I, I know you'll be there. I will tell yeah. my friends to come. Yeah. Guys, the 6th of March 2021. This 2021. Next month. Please, por favor, tafadada. <laughs> Uh, another language? Welcome. Welcome. That's in Germany. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's in Germany. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Please, tafadali, welcome. Yeah. Por favor. <laughs> por favor. Yeah, that's, yeah, por favor. <laughs> Please come to 70 and Miami yeah. for the international food. International food. It is the day we launch. Yeah. This wow. Is, yeah. It's been a long journey, man. Long journey. Now, I build a food truck for six months. Tell me of hardships that you faced all along. Uh, it's all about hard work. With, a, with, a, with, a, with anything you do, you'll feel like, oh, this is, might be easy. Mm-hmm. Oh, this might be easy. But when you start doing it, mm-hmm. like, I was like, oh, the flow. And one thing also, I, that's what I told you when we started the interview. Mm-hmm. The, 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 the balance needs to balance. If you yeah. get married to a wife who is not you and supportive and supportive is a problem. It's a problem. So my wife especially also, in business. Yeah, my wife also she's a builder. Your money is her money basically. She's a builder too. Yeah. Cuz all our house we paint them by yeah. ourselves. Mhm. Oh, she's a builder. She build Oh, she she used helped lies you using with hands. She helped you yeah, physically. She, she even built the food truck. What? So that thing came from both of you. Yeah, the, the, it's a product the, of the two. Of you. The first style on that floor. The she's same the one woman who, who sold you that same dream. Yeah, the who first told you that you can cook? Yeah, somewhere in Kenya. Yeah, my goodness, somewhere in the bush. So how, how, how do you operate? Uh, you know, like, this is her business too. It's your business. It's her business. That's a good relationship. I, I, I feel this is a people business. Because, you know, yeah. it's really hard these days to find someone who is 
really in there for Devoted. you. Devoted. Hundred, because these days, especially women these days, they 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 are really careful about their security in future. They will hold their resource and tell you, you do what you gotta do, but do it on your own. But you know, I'm I'm here for you. But, I'm supporting you, but really they are not. Now, now those that that's not the right ones. Mm -hmm. That's not the that's not your right balance. Yes. If you find your right balance, mm. they won't say that. Because they, they know you and you know them. Yes. And you already merge. Yeah. You know? If they can clean. So if her, can, her troubles are your troubles. Yeah. And your troubles are hers. Yeah. So her, the first That's tile, right or die. Yeah, the first tile on that yeah. food truck floor, she's the one who put it. Oh, the, 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 the tile. The tile. Yeah, she the flow. She put it in the flow. Yes, and she told me, okay, this measuring, measuring here and yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Yeah. So man. I put it the I put it the 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 the, the walls, the ceiling, everything, yes. and she was like, I, I want to do the flows. I was like, okay. Vanessa, you know, I even anytime I hear Vanessa, I remember Vanessa Williams. It was this. Uh, tennis. Oh yeah, tennis, tennis. Oh, <laughs> she's here. I pointed to her. She's here. <laughs> I, uh, I blew, I blew her cover. <laughs> she, so, yeah, and uh, Vanessa Williams is one of the hardest working lady I've ever seen. Yeah, you know. So Vanessa's are success, people of success. Of hard working. The hard working. And, and this is mm. an international food truck. It's mm. the food truck for the people. That's She's African American, yeah. Kenyan. Yeah. Bringing those two cultures together. Yeah. And releasing it to us. To everybody. I've tasted that. Street taco. Yes. That's an international. And you know, people are asking about it. Man, I, I got. Right now, I have a problem to tell people you, they need to wait until to the 6th. The sixth, yeah, yeah, yeah. People are asking me too because they yeah. saw the video. Yeah, yeah. They are actually thinking I'm one of the cooks. I'm not. I'm not the cook. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. No. So the sixth, that thing is coming mm. out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're gonna have some mushikaki. Oh Lord. Mushikaki. Those are beef kebabs or ch yes, and yes. chicken kebabs. Mm. Those are the street food of Kenya. That I will inhale it. <laughs> My I, friend. I'm telling you, it will be so juicy. Mm. You just wait and see. Guys. And, and, and then we're going to have samosas. Samosas we're going to have. Guys. Yeah. Samosas. And, uh, samosas. In so, an African-American, African-American, yeah. Kenyan way. Yeah. So African-American. Uh, that's the, uh, fusion. Yeah, that's the, Afro fusion. Yeah, the Afro infusion. Oh, got, Afro infusion. Afro infusion of the samosas. People have been eating these regular samosas with just beef. But this one will be different. Don't tell them yet what is in there. Let them come and see. Yeah. Yes. So there will be an average fusion. Yes. Samosas. We'll even have the pulled pork samosas. Eish. The 6th of March. 6th of March. Guys, please. Yeah. Make sure you make your way there. The 6th of March. That is when. Yeah. The lounge. address and everything you will find it. We'll post it's it. It's gonna be up here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Yep. What a story, man. You can never make this up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can never make this up. Yes. What a story of a couple from scratch in Kenya. Yep. From zero. Lost thing. And you meet this American lady. Meandering, I love using that word. Meandering, meandering. around East Africa. Wandering. Wandering. Uh, she was not wandering because she knew what she was doing, mm -hmm. but meandering, doing her own business, yeah. not caring about the wars and troubles of Africa. I wouldn't go to Uganda just like that haphazardly, but this lady was in Ethiopia. Yeah, what in the world? How <laughs> these Americans, you know, they are crazy sometimes, you know. <laughs> They are crazy. You gotta <laughs> have some. That's why I was, I was telling you. Yeah. Getting to a plane. Mm -hmm. Coming to America, that was a problem because you don't know where you're going. Yeah. 
Wow. So let's. And I'm not coming for education. Yes. You know, you're not coming for education or anything. Yeah, you're, you're coming to, to get married. Married. <laughs> and then you say, okay, let me get. <laughs> People usually think that's an easy choice to make. Oh, it's not, man. It's not. It's not. Yeah. You're going to you never know what you're going to see. You the go other there side. and you, are, you find you, they were they wanted to sacrifice a human being. There you go. He's, he's yeah, he brought yeah. himself. Yeah. <laughs> never <laughs> to be seen again. <laughs> <laughs> they will watch ah, you to death, my friend. I know. Yeah. But anyway, it all turned out to be good. But I look, I, mm. I, I looked at this like, mm. but you know, it's not job or mm. anything is marriage. But yeah. you know, you and you just say, you know. Yeah, you know, a lot of women, women go to German and and actually even here, yeah. they come and get married, and then six months later, they are suffering. Oh, for real? They are, they are actually have seen it happen. Uh, they they are locked in the house and they can't go anywhere until yeah. one time they just run in the streets and That's seek they, for help. Yeah, uh, actually Africans are dying in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, right and left because they are being killed and tortured for fun. Yeah, man, I love America because people say in America there is discrimination. Yes, there is. But there's rules. There's rules. You can go to the police station and fight. Yeah. Go to Saudi Arabia. Those guys will kill you. <laughs> and nothing they'll, will they'll happen. Make, they'll make you to be the wrongdoer. <laughs> they'll yeah. turn it around on you. There's law over here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah when, whenever you, you mm. know, that's why I love the system. The yeah. system is well organized. America the police, is a good place. Everybody, man. you know. It's not everybody will be good or not everybody every, will be but good. The police will be brutal. I've been discriminated by police. I've been stopped more than once yeah. in Atlanta and in Tennessee for no good reason. But then again, the same police have saved my butt once, yeah. once or twice, you know? Yeah. So uh, there's that little balance that's happening whereby, mm -hmm. you know... But uh, you yeah. also got to be disciplined yeah, you got in to. a place like this. Yes, yes, yeah. true, true. But I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad that everything has turned out the way it has. And, and uh, uh, I wish you the best in this, man. And we are ready. Yes. We are ready to serve the entire North Carolina and the whole world in general. Wow. Because Kenya is, and America yeah. coming together. Afro infusion. My friend. Afro infusion. And you know how they call me? They call me Mamba Five, King of Zamunda. Mamba. Yeah, Mamba the Five. King of, Mamba Five. Yeah, Mamba Five. King of Zamunda. King of Zamunda. I, I want that name, man. <laughs> Can I be calling myself Mamba too? They, they couldn't pronounce you know, the Mamba. I wanted to call myself Simba, but there's this crazy guy, one of my good friends. Yeah. He always takes me out of trouble when I'm in trouble. Yeah. His name is uh, Maridadi. George, yeah, Maridadi photo, craziest guy ever. You need to know him, mm -hmm. but that guy will never let you down. Crazy guy, yeah. But if he's your friend, you call him, yeah, he will die for you, man. That's a good guy, yeah. Let me big up George Garasho, yeah, Simba, <laughs> yeah. So your Mamba and his Simba, Mamba Five. Now, yeah. I don't want to be mistaken, but mm. people couldn't pronounce Mlamba. Mm -hmm. So guys started, uh, you know the song, Man, Mamba. And so, then later on, Mambo, number five. Mamba, number five. five. So when people mm. ask me where I'm from, I mm. say, Zamunda. Zamunda. And they wonder where is that? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. How is Zamunda? Oh, Zamunda is so great. Great. You know? And I'm like, yeah. no, I'm not from Zamunda. Yeah. But my name is, my, you know, my other name is yeah. Mamba Five, King of ah. Zamunda. Ah. Me, so I, when we me, are launching that day, me, let me boast to me, I'm king of B Ubuntu nation. <laughs> Ubuntu. You know, when mm. we are launching that day, yeah. Mm. Uh, did you see that coming back to America? Yeah. When the king of Zamunda yeah, came, 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 came alone. You see, you know, the, that Zamunda does not exist. That city does not exist. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. But you know, hey, guess what? Yeah. Guess what? You see that traffic which, when the king of Zamunda came mm -hmm. to the America, mm -hmm. and there was that traffic? Yes. 
big traffic. A big remember. traffic. Yeah. The That's sixth. what to love. The six. The six. Come and eat that. No, we want that king of Zamunda. Yes. Safari is to be there and to be a convoy. All so we are heading to Safari Eats yeah. food truck. Yeah. Wow. Well, you know, we can, we can stay here forever. Of course, yeah, we yes. can. <laughs> yeah. Well, again, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, you, Mr. Sir. And thank your you. wife, man. Thank you. Yes. And thank you for coming along. You know, it, it, you just came like a miracle. I, well, it, it's all planned. God's time yeah. is the best. You know, God works for us, yeah. not, not against anybody. For sure. I hate sure. when people say, oh, my life is all trouble, I'm cast. No, God works for everyone. You, 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 I, I feel people cast themselves. They do. Yeah, mm -hmm. by being lazy. Being lazy. Yeah. Oh, man. And being weight. Oh, I want to be a lawyer. Yeah. Oh, I want to be, I want to have a food truck. So they just talk, 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 yeah. talk, but oh, not wanna, action. Yeah, I want to have, a, oh, you see food trucks roaming around, mm. oh, somebody has a restaurant, mm. and you say, oh, I want to have a food truck. And you have this money, mm. you go finance the food truck, mm. and all of a sudden you're packing that food truck. Yeah. And that's somebody's, that's money right there, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it takes, I, I, I feel like you got to go in and do the work. And do the work. there's more work we are, we are doing mm. behind the so scene. So there's, there's on, on, on work mm. and at work. At work, yeah. Mm. So there's two things, you got to balance them. You're hustling somewhere and you, you, you're trying to fl stay afloat at the same time. Yeah, you got to go, yeah. you, you got to cook the food and mm. deliver to the people. Mm. You got to look for those people to come and buy your food. Mm. You got to look for the so people. So you'll be delivering too? I'll be, I'll be doing, I'm do personal chef right now. Yeah. I do personal chef. I do Parties. meal prep. Mm -hmm. I do caterings. Mm -hmm. So meal prep is all about delivering. Yes. So cook the meal mm -hmm. and people will either, if you want it to be delivered, there's mm -hmm. a fee being charged for delivery. Yes, yes. And if you want to come and pick up, you come and pick, pick up. Pick up, yes. Uh, catering will come and cater for you. Uh, personal chef will just come mm -hmm. and let the other guys yeah, run yeah. the food truck and mm -hmm. I'll be just coming there sure. and cook for you. Mm -hmm. And you know, mm -hmm. so that's, that's my venture right now. Very good. Yeah. So guys, the 6th of March, be there by 70 highway 70 that's from L raleigh that's glenwood and all the way once you hit glenwood you hit miami down mm -hmm. the street yeah about 10 miles down and the food truck will be by miami and 70. 70 is glenwood people in raleigh yeah so just get to glenwood and drive to a durham before you even get to durham Miami is right there. You, well, you're in Durham when you're in Miami Avenue yeah. Boulevard. Yeah, so thank you, man. Thank you so much. And everybody, you're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome to come and enjoy the culture. All right. And the infuse of Safari Eats. And we'll be back. Thank you. <laughs>